Hello, I'm astronaut Randy Bresnik. I just returned last December from 139 days on space, Expedition 52, and was the commander of the space station during Expedition 53. I flew with Paolo Nespoli from Italy and Sergei Rozanski from Russia. I received a Marine Corps four-year ROTC scholarship that allowed me to go to college, and I went to the, the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina, and then uh, became a, a Marine Corps pilot and then eventually got the chance to study and go to astronaut school. We were astronaut candidates and learn how to be an uh, astronaut. I wanted to strive for something more where I could have a job that you know, wasn't just um, something where I was getting a wage, but it was something I was contributing with the efforts that I was putting forth. And so becoming a pilot, you know, that was all I wanted to do. And so be able to get paid to be able to fly an F-18 all around the world you know, was a dream job. And then now get paid to be an astronaut and, you know, explore and do this you know research on the space station and look back at earth and share those pictures with everybody down here that is certainly uh, you know it, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, I say the world is out here it's not here and there's so much interesting amazing stuff out there go out and explore because that's where you can expand your horizons learn about different people and different things things that you'll be able to use and figure out what you're interested, what you're passionate about. And that'll help you as you go through the rest of middle school and on to high school. Where do I want to study? Where do I want to explore for me? What inspires me now is the fact that I'm, I'm part of a, a team that is building the groundwork for further exploration of you know humans beyond Earth. And that even though I may not be the one that, that goes to Mars, I'm doing the work that someday we'll get, hopefully in the next you know, 15, 20 years, people to put boots on that foreign planet. It's gonna be a global effort. Humans from all over the world be actually get on the spacecraft and go to Mars for the first time and establish a permanent human presence there. You look at an astronaut that's out on a spacewalk and no, by no means have they gotten there by themselves. We got thousands of people in our space program that have done everything from build the rocket, to fuel the rocket, to launch the rocket, to monitor the systems and mission control. And then all we are as the spacewalkers, we're just out there to execute what all these, the work that all these other people did. And so that's just one example of how everybody is part of a team. And then when you get a chance to be a leader of a team, take care of your people. You know, along the way, uh, I've experienced failure, you know, multiple times. And what I learned about that was just because you're the timing you think things should happen doesn't mean that that's the timing that things are supposed to happen. And so if you have a path and a dream that you want to follow, keep after it. Don't quit. And if you don't get accepted the first time, use that time in between to be more qualified or additionally qualified or, you know, do get other experiences in your life. Because all those experiences are going to get you to the point where you're supposed to be eventually. And for me, that was landing last December, having been the commander of the International Space Station, even after all those failures, because that's what I learned the most from.